work with a pencil and then more work with the marker or crayon, whatever you have, okay? So just get those organized and ready and we'll start with a story in just a couple minutes or a minute and then we'll uh, do our little follow along art project. I'm really happy to see mommies and daddies and grandparents this morning. I'm getting my stuff together. Got my Sharpie, my crayons. Got a bucket of markers. So we can get going in a couple of minutes. I have a hair sticking up. A funny, weird hair sticking up. Can everybody see my background? Yep, I picked some flowers in my yard yesterday right here. And my husband is starting some plants for our garden. And this painting up here, my mother painted. It's a basket of vegetables. And my mother painted that painting a long time ago. It's hanging in my kitchen. Okay, everybody ready? Yep, okay, we're gonna read a little story. And then we'll get going on our art project. I'm ready to go if my friends are ready. So this is a book called I'm Coming to Get You by Tony Ross. It's a very silly story about a monster. All right, I'm gonna hold it up for everybody. Deep in another galaxy, a spaceship rushed toward a tiny, peaceful little planet. It landed and out jumped a loathsome monster. Loathsome is a big word that means really disgusting, ferocious, and mean and annoying. I'm coming to get you, it howled. Look at that guy. The monster crushed all the gentle banana people. See all the banana people? Stomped all over them. And he smashed their statues and scattered all their books. Wow. He's making a lot of trouble for these people. All right, let's see what happens next. It gobbled up, whoops. Oh, it chewed up all the mountains and it drank all the oceans and it ate the jellyfish for dessert. So he ate up all the mountains, drank up the ocean and ate the jellyfish for dessert. Look at his face. It gobbled up the whole planet except for the middle where it was too hot. And the ends that were too cold. So he gobbled up the whole planet, but he left the ends, the ends that were too cold and the inside that was too hot. It kind of looks like an apple core. Still hungry, the monster flew off in his spaceship gobbling up and nibbling small stars all along the way. Yep, they look like apples too. He had seen a pretty blue planet called Earth. Oh, he's coming to Earth. The pages don't want to turn. A monster found a little boy named Tommy Brown on its radar. I'm coming to get you, he roared. Uh-oh, there's Tommy Brown with his teddy bear and his hot chocolate and his slippers and he's on the monster's radar. He's gonna come find this kid. 
it was bedtime and Tommy was listening to a scary story about scary monsters. There he is with his dad at bedtime and there's his kitty cat. The spaceship raced toward Earth and the monster found out where Tommy lived. Look at his face, he's pretty happy. It circled the town looking for the right house. See him up here in a spaceship and he's looking for Tommy's house. As Tommy crept up to bed, he checked every stair for monsters. He's looking carefully for all the monsters. He looked in every place where they could hide. Look, he's looking behind the toilet, making sure there aren't any monsters. Once he got into bed, he thought he heard a bump outside his window. Wow, look at Tommy's room. There's a lot of stuff going on in his room. The monster hid behind a rock and waited until dawn. I'm coming to get you, it hissed. See him up here hiding behind the rock? In the daylight, Tommy felt silly for having been so scared of monsters. There he is down here. He felt silly for being afraid of monsters. Then with a terrible roar, the monster pounced. Wow, there he is. Look at him, he's carrying a big stick. He has a big scary face and a bunch of scary teeth. But Tommy just walked right by. Uh-oh, look at the monster. Look how tiny he is. His big stick is just a little burnt out match. Look how big Tommy's feet are and his sneakers. There's his teddy bear. The monster was almost the size of a bug. I think Tommy could probably just stomp on that monster without any trouble. He just was afraid of this little tiny thing. He ended up being almost nothing. All right. This book was cute. It's called I'm Coming to Get You by Tony Ross, and it's about a ferocious, scary monster. All right, let's get ready to do some art. Everybody ready? Show me you're ready. Everybody ready? Okay, so we're going to get out our pencil first, and you guys are going to follow along with me. This is called directed drawing, a little bit like we did last week. I'm going to direct and you're gonna follow along and draw along with me. Now I'm gonna use my Sharpie so you can see it, but I want you to start out with a pencil. Everybody got a pencil? Okay. Here's my paper on my clipboard. And we're gonna start by drawing a letter that I know all you guys know. We're gonna start right in the middle of the page right in the middle of the page, and I want you to draw a line. I need a new Sharpie. Straight down, just like that. I want you to leave some room at the top, and I want you to leave more room at the bottom, but draw a nice straight line up and down the middle of the page, just like that.
Now I want you to leave room at the top and leave some room at the bottom. We're just gonna draw a straight line. That's where it's our first step. Now we're gonna turn this in to an uppercase letter I. So we're gonna draw a line that goes across the top and a line that grows across the bottom. And I want you to leave space around the edges because we have a lot more stuff to put on here. So we should have a nice sized uppercase letter I. All right, you guys can drop your pencils. And now I want you to pick up a black crayon or your black marker. And I want you to trace over with black that uppercase letter I. So just take your black crayon or your black marker or blue, whatever color you have, dark color, and just trace over that uppercase letter I with your crayon or your marker so you can see it. And we're gonna build a monster from this. I think we're gonna make a monster out of this uppercase letter I. It's gonna happen like magic. Everybody good? Okay, here's what we're gonna do next. I want you to find at the top of the uppercase letter I, I want you to find these two corners. See these two corners up here? And I want you to take your crayon or your marker and I want you to draw two little circles up in there. Look like this and like that. And then inside those two little circles or big circles, I want you to draw, draw some eyeballs. Color them in nice and dark. Everybody ready? Okay, he's looking pretty silly. We'll see what happens next. Now, let's go below one of the eyes and let's draw going down and connecting with the bottom of the letter I, kind of a curved sort of line like that. And then another one on the other side. And just make it stop right there. How's that? All right, we're doing good. Now let's <clears throat> make a couple little lines like that. We're working on his nose right now, believe it or not. This is his nose. Okay, next step, everybody ready? I don't wanna go too fast. Okay, now let's try, let's go down here to the bottom edge of our uppercase letter I, and we're gonna draw two bumps. Look like that. And I want you to color them in.
Okay, next step, let's go back to where we were. Now we're gonna look at the bottom underneath of our uppercase letter I that we drew a minute ago. And we're gonna work on a mouth. Let's try to make a ferocious mouth. I'm gonna go like this. Just gonna make like a jump rope shape. But I still wanna leave some space at the bottom. So I just wanna make sort of like a smile shape, almost like a letter U, a jump rope shape, but I wanna connect these two edges. Now, we're gonna add some teeth. Monsters always have teeth. It's looking pretty silly. Okay, now we're gonna finish up a few more steps because he is not done. Let's go up to the top. Let's add some eyelashes. Very silly. Now we're gonna finish out his body. Let's find, this part's tiny bit tricky, but just follow along and there's no right way or wrong way. I'm gonna try, let's go up to the top of that letter I. I'm gonna stand up. And what we're gonna do is go at an angle down about like that. And then we're gonna take that line. When you're ready, we're gonna go down straight. like that, leaving some space at the bottom for his feet. And then we're gonna go straight across. Like that. Now, while we're down here, we can add some feet. some claws. Okay, he's missing something. I think we need some arms. So let's go over here. to the sides and draw some arms, some claws, Now this monster, let's go up to the top. This monster needs some hair. Now 
You can make your hair any way you like. And we're going to color all this in in a minute. He's not quite done. I have room for some ears. Over here by his eyes. I need some shapes on his big nose. So I'm gonna add some circles. My monster has spots. So I'm gonna add some spots. And I have room down here for a few spots. Different sizes. Uh-oh, he's looking pretty funny. So guys, when you're ready, you can put down your black marker or your black crayon. Now I want you to get out your colors. And I want you to color this guy in, any crazy mixed up colors you want. You can use markers or you can use your crayons, whatever you have. And we're gonna follow along and we're gonna start coloring this guy in. Here's my finished example I made ahead of time. But you can use whatever colors you want. I did not color his hair, but I think I'm gonna add today, finish this and add some color in his pink hair. But what I want you guys to do is take your time, start wherever you want, and color this guy in. You can use whatever colors you like. There's no rules here. No wrong, no right, whatever colors you think your monster might have. When my daughter was a baby, her favorite monster on Sesame Street was Elmo. She loved Elmo. But then one day she dropped Elmo. She broke up with Elmo. She said no more Elmo. She made up her own monster in her imagination when she was about four. And her monster was named Skunk Man. Isn't that a silly name for a monster? Skunk Man had a wife and he lived in the toilet 
but he didn't live in our toilet. He lived in Aunt Peggy's toilet in Massachusetts. And she had a whole story about her monster named Skunk Man. He had a wife. And he went on a lot of crazy adventures. He liked to eat oranges and peaches. And her monster lived in Aunt Peggy's toilet in Massachusetts when she was little. Isn't that silly? I'm gonna color in these spots. I should probably color in the bottom and figure out what color I should make his feet. So the story that we read is kind of a cute story because the moral of the story, and we talked about that before with Abracadoodle, the lesson, the moral of the story is the lesson that you're supposed to learn about the story. And the story is about how some things that are really scary are really not scary. Remember the kid in the story, Tommy Brown? He was searching for monsters. He was scared of monsters. He was afraid, he heard a bump, he thought there was a monster. And then when he walked outside, it was nothing. The monster was a tiny, silly little thing that he could probably stomp on with a sneaker like a little bug. So the story, the lesson of the story is that sometimes things are really scary and they're really not. They're not scary at all. You just have to be strong and brave and not be afraid. I'm gonna get my pink because I have pink. I think I might make my guy's feet pink. And maybe I'll color his teeth green. There's one pink foot. trying to stay in the lines. But I don't know if Miss Susie can stay in the lines. I'm drawing, coloring upside down here. 
Not bad. All right, let me add some color to his teeth. I want green teeth. I like green teeth. I don't know why today. You can make yours any color you like. Rainbow teeth, yellow teeth. I don't think this monster brushes his teeth very much. I think this monster has kind of gross teeth, so. We'll see. Is everybody doing okay? Hold them up and let me see some. Let me see Noah's. I see Noah. Awesome. I like it. Noah, yours is adorable. Oh, I see grandma. That's so cute. Great job. Friends, these are awesome. Let me see Oli's. I see Oli working. Oli, it's cute. Oh, these are great. Guys are doing beautiful on this silly, silly monster. I love it. All right, I'm gonna add some color to my hair. Uh, where's my red? I don't have any red on mine, so I need to add some red. And then we're gonna finish this guy up and say goodbye till next week in a couple of minutes. Let's finish him up. I'm gonna add some red to the top. This guy is really silly. Oh, these look like earrings. I think my monster might have earrings. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll add some more hair.
My guy's just about done. Everybody's doing nice, neat work on this very silly monster. All right, friends, ta-da! So I'm gonna see you guys next week. I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Our time is about up. But you can continue to finish coloring these monsters any way you like. You can draw another one if you want later. I want everybody to finish them up and I will see you same time next Thursday.